All right, this is Andy Cernovitz, and I'm here with an old friend, Josh Hallett, who is a, <laughs> I met when he came to a WOMA conference that I was producing and was the live blogger, and this guy managed to blog simultaneously, like the 90 panels, take the photos, do everything all at once, and um, so he was the guy we called back every time saying we need this conference covered and blogged and blogged well, so tell me about this whole idea of, of event blogging. Um, it started off as just sort of like a personal thing. It's like, oh, I want to do some notes for myself. And it's turned into almost, I wouldn't say a side business, but more of a, a side hobby. Uh, a lot of conferences bring me in now to basically just do session coverage. Uh, so WOMA, uh, for years and years and years, I've done work for them. And what it's involved with is just doing um, coverage of the general sessions, covers of breakouts, uh, and then including photography. Uh, typically WOMA also has a video crew that comes, so they take some video as well. So it's just a matter of you know, sort of seaming all that content together. Sometimes it's done on the official organization's blog. Sometimes it's done on my blog. But it's just it's it's you know at first there was a lot of resistance from some organizations because they thought well if we're providing this sort of this completely open coverage of our sessions that people won't want to come. But the, the general consensus is it, it's it's spurring more interest in the conferences for the following year because they they see what they're missing and they know that it's, it's the, truly the interaction sometimes that they're missing out on, so they want to come to conferences. So more and more, actually, conferences are budgeting and working with you know event blog teams to do some type of session coverage. In a sense, it's you're creating your own media. So what a better position to be in. Yeah, we, we, we found it incredibly helpful just because well, there's a record of these presentations, and they, 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 people who aren't there can follow along, and they feel like they're there, and they wait for the next post to come out. And it's um, it takes the experience beyond those 500 people in the room and involves 50,000 people. Well, I think the best comment we ever had was um, it was the second Wilma event I did. I think John Moore, Brand Autopsy, uh, wrote on his blog, I'm going to stop taking notes because the team that's doing the live blogging is doing such a great job. I can just sit here, soak everything in, ask questions that I want to ask, and not have to worry about taking my own notes. Yeah, I remember that post of his. That was a great one. So that's what I mean. But the biggest thing now, though, is with these events is it's planning. Um, as like with Wilma, we typically have a team of anywhere from two to four people. Um, and you do as much sort of prep and pre-writing as we can. So a lot of times before an event, I already have drafts of pretty much every single session I'm going to cover. And what I do is I'll say, you know, the second panel on Thursday was so-and-so from such-and-such. I link up their name, I link up their organization, and then I just sort of trail off. And that's ready to go. So as soon as I jump into the session, I don't have to worry about doing all that work. I can just basically just jump right in and sort of go through everything. Uh, and we also sort of plan on any type of ancillary things we're going to be doing. If there's going to be photography, there's going to be video, we pre-coordinate getting those assets so that as soon as they go online. Um, so really, I mean, it's also sort of a good case scenario for all the sort of, you know, the new web tools. I mean, we use Flickr a lot, we use YouTube a lot, we use a lot of the video sharing services. Most of the time we're using TypePad or WordPress or movable type for the blog. Um, so it's really been great. So it's, I mean, the best team we can have right now is a photographer, a videographer, and at least three or four bloggers on staff. Yeah. So you need a blogger for each session, I guess, that's going on simultaneously? Yeah, that's typically the, the best case scenario is if you've got like four breakout sessions that at max you need to have four people. And what we've been able to do in, in, in other cases is sometimes with smaller organizations, if we know there's going to be like a day where we're going to have a lot of breakout sessions, we can usually tap into one or two members that aren't going to really traditionally be part of the team the whole time. Um, and say, hey, would you like to you know, cover the session? We'll give you a discount on registration or something along those lines. And mo most of the time, they're more than happy to do it. So it's, it's becoming easier now to find people who are already blogging about a specific industry and sort of approaching them ahead of time saying, hey, would you like to do help us do some coverage of this event? And most of the time, they're, they're more than flattered to do it. Great. Well, I highly recommend both the idea of event blogging and, and Josh in particular. It's been a great experience for us over the years. So thank you very much. No problem.